Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cyberhorn92 here. Hope everyone have a wonderful day. It's been a while. I did a deck profile. I'm here. The one and only. No introduction. Best roll deck. Um, as you guys know. And we like to introduce who you are. I'm Rene Pacheco. Alright, alright. Congrats on your top recent regional. And what did you do at this regional? Uh, I, I came 7th. Uh, uh, on, on more than 500 people regional. Uh, going in a neck eight one record. Oh, nice! Congrats, congrats! And what deck were you uh, currently playing? Um, uh, I was playing Bestial. Bestial. All right, sounds good. Uh, what what made you want to uh, play this deck um, instead of other decks? And you mainly recognize um, main you're mainly like a um, road deck player back back in the day, and then currently um, something different. Just curious. Um, I think that this deck uh, catch my ass a few months ago. And I really then didn't feel like changing it at all, and just the deck. I think that it feels uh, pretty much it, it does it gets the job done, and it has a really good synergy with the visual cards and can hold on in this uh, actual format. Even though this is not like the best deck, uh, such as the uh, Shizu <coughs> two elements, but uh, this is uh, what I felt comfortable playing with, and it just keeps giving me some results. So yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Before uh, getting to the deck profile, you want to give any shout-outs? Uh, I want to give a shout-out to my team, uh, Tim Armageddon, uh, our sponsors, the Spartan Store, Aldebaran TCG, and Dragon Inc. Um, you can visit them on and on Facebook as Dragon Inc. They have the, like, the best playmats um, for teams and stuff. Um, and to my girlfriend. Sounds good. All right, take it away. Uh, I'm going to start with the main deck. Uh... I played uh, three Splay Blue, uh, three Splay Jet. This is pretty standard as uh, Splay Red, Splay Carrot, and Pixies. Uh, pretty standard stuff, and uh, nine on them. Uh, I think that this uh, quantity is not like the best. Um, many people is just uh, cutting the Pixies. Uh, this was like a last minute decision, and it worked pretty fine. Um, more as a, as a new as a name, so this is the nine sprite monsters that I'm playing right now. Um, then I am playing uh, three nimble beavers, two nimble anglers. Uh, this is uh, pretty basic stuff. Um, this is like the best engine for the deck at the moment. Uh, just for how splashable is the sprite uh, sprint. And the triple frogs, um, same stuff here. Um, I became a fan of playing three just because uh, having the extra body to um, to use for spray smashers or for a carrot and and red uh, cost. So it worked pretty fine. And just bumping up the quantity of the monsters just to have more synergy with the nimble angler uh, seems pretty good for me. So. Yeah, this is like the uh, the engine that I play for the deck. Then uh, for hand traps, uh, the basic stuff, three ash. Um, many people is going well, not everyone, but a lot of them are playing um, more of um, uh, a, sp a spell. Based decks like playing um, Rule No More in the main deck, uh, enemy controller and stuff. But I just stuck with the Ash and the triple, uh, the triple infinite impermanence. I just feel really comfortable with this uh, because I was, yeah, I, I was oriented my my deck a little bit more against the Chill Ushisu uh, matchup, but it ended up. Uh, I ended up playing against a lot of Rook decks. Uh, such as Star War, Madolce, uh, Tri Brigade. So that's why I decided that this card uh, was really good. And and actually, yeah, my um, the theory was was correct. And the the bunch of bestials, uh, three Magnemots, you know, three uh, Dark Worms, and two Cernier. Um I was thinking about playing maybe just completely the nines. Going for spell cards, uh, I played. The triple uh, splite starter, basic uh, trip out of prosperity, uh, really good card just to go for your 
side cards or the the extension that you need. Um, True talents, uh, a lot of decks such as Mirror Match, Ishisus, uh, Chilamen, and Flanderies actually uh, they go for a lot of uh, monster effects on your turn and in order for, in order to them for um, interruption. So that's why I decided that this card was good. And actually, yeah, it was. Uh, I used it more as a change of heart more than to draw cards. And lastly, uh, Smashers. When you play, so that was all for the main deck. Yep. When you play a third a triple attack talent, or do you think two was perfectly fine? Um, I, I wasn't completely sure about playing that card. Uh, I, uh, if you ask me about uh, something that I will change for the main deck, I think maybe it can be the triple tactic talents. But at the moment, I'm not changing it because there is nothing that comes to my mind that can replace our card. Mm -hmm. I don't know if maybe more hand traps or some kind of uh, power spell card, mm -hmm. but it was it was good. Maybe I'm not lucky as other players to always have the time to resolve it because uh, I think that um, yeah, it is pretty good though. So it, it is a card that maybe can go away from the deck. Sounds good. And it's um, uh, 40 cards. No, three. for extra deck, I'm mm -hmm. playing the two Sprite Elf, um, basic, uh, two Gigantic Sprite, and the Sprite Sprint. Yeah, it's 40 cards. Yeah, I wanted to keep the the main deck as, uh, the short as possible. Um, one Sprite Sprint, um, one Nightmare Phoenix, uh, Pit Night Early, this was same something like came out in the last minute with my friends. Um, because sometimes uh, like the Totally Awesome wasn't like the best in, uh, or evil, and so that's why we decided that this card was really good. Uh, thankfully, I didn't play against any Flounder today. I was prepared because I really respect the deck because I think it's pretty good. Uh, but this card same work for other things because most of the times a bug engine just uh, needs a little bit more of setup, and this ended up being like two replacements for the the boards because sometimes when I when I won the first game on the second game my opponent just let me start and I didn't have frogs and this was like helping uh, to have like a solid uh, end board. So yeah, uh, went dark. A lot of dark monsters. This card was is, is really good, and one code breaker uh, virus sourceman. Uh, the main reason of this card is to run over uh, Baguska, which is a really popular ca card in this format, thanks to the Ishizu matchup. Um, and it, actually, it's funny because in the mirror match, this run out, runs over uh, the frog. So yeah, it's funny. It's a really good card. Uh, for XYCs, I'm playing an Ivimaru, Soul Sweeper, um, one Mannequin Cat. Um, I'm going to show you the reasoning on the side deck. Uh, one Frog, totally awesome. And the Zeus package, uh, which I'm playing the Mosquito instead of the Centauria, because I really like the OTK that this card gives you. Uh, one Donner Magician, and lastly, uh, one Zeus. This is so for the extra deck. And lastly, um, side deck. So for monsters, I'm only playing one End of Anubis, and one Thunder King Ryo. Um, End of Anubis is, uh, the, the idea is to play um, Mannequin Cat against um, the mirror match and against branded decks, dark board decks, and purely Mendy Shisu. Uh, so you can bring this, this up. Uh, maybe Ryo can go out. Almost never went for it, but a new. I, I really like this card. I really want to see if I can fit the mind control of the side deck just to have like the pair and have a really solid going second cards uh, in overall against every deck. Um, Three zombie worlds. These cards were really good. Uh, even though I didn't uh, play it against Wanderers, uh, I played against two Tri Brigade decks actually. And this card just destroys Tri Brigades. So 
Yeah, but the main idea is to play it against uh, Flanderies because this is just um, this is game against Flanderies if they don't have like a Cosmic or something to take it over. So, mm, talking about Cosmic, I'm playing two Cosmics, uh, which wasn't like the best card. Um, never resulted in a tournament. Uh, and the third smashers, which uh, counts like the third cosmic, uh, same didn't came out that much in the tournament though. Um, a card that I really miss playing it was civilly match, which maybe is the thing that I'm gonna change for this card. Um, really, really no more. Um, same, I get really good against the combo decks and stuff. Really liked it. Uh, and one double cross. This is a card that I really like. Um, but uh, I, I don't play on the main deck just because it's a trap card. But uh, this card plays around Ruler No More because uh, if your field gets Ruler No More and you have Swap Frog, well, the Totally Awesome Sorry, you can try to negate any other effects with your Toad just to send it off to the graveyard and use a double cross to revive the frog under the Sprite Elf. Uh, Mm, arrow, so it, it's pretty good. And lastly, uh, two dimensional barrier. Um, same, those cards were really good. Maybe gonna bump it up to three. Um, mm, not only good against a lot of decks, uh, which you encounter in regionals, uh, it is it is pretty good. And that's so for the deck. All right, uh, do you remember uh, your matchup uh, throughout the regional? Oh yeah, um, uh, it was uh, two brigades, three chillaments, uh, one dark world, uh, funny one Madolce, um, one hero, and one mirror match. Dang! All right, all right. So thank you for the deck profile.